So uh, this, this is one of those stories that just kind of zooted in there out of nowheres. So uh, this is a thing that sprung up pretty intensely over the weekend and has just been gaining traction and there's been all sorts uh, of insane things going on to the point that this might end up being a two-parter. I'm currently talking to someone who might have some, some behind the scenes info to provide a little bit more information. But we are gonna be talking about the thought audit, which I think they grossly missed the opportunity to call it a thought it. But yeah, essentially over the weekend, there was a movement that started to um, report sex workers uh, and very much more specifically the type of people who do like premium Snapchat services, premium Patreons, uh, stuff like that, where basically you offer people uh, premium access to get, you know, racier photos, occasional, you know, nudes and, and lingerie shoots and stuff like that. Now the ones that go through websites like Patreon would definitely be taxed because you do have to fill in tax information there. So there would be a record of that stuff going on. But I guess with stuff like Snapchat and even Instagram, uh, those payments would not necessarily be recorded in a way that taxes would have to be paid. Now, before I get into it, yes, pay, your taxes. Uh, I actually was arguing with a lot of people last year because obviously I stream on Twitch. That means people donate money. Kind of similar to how like bartenders get tips or if you were like busking on the street, that stuff can technically all be taxed. And I had people giving me like all sorts of weird numbers about how like if it all goes through PayPal, it's not taxable. If it doesn't exceed a certain amount, you don't have to, to claim it. You have to claim everything that you receive as much as that might suck and you probably won't get taxes taken out until it exceeds a certain amount but you still have to claim it. And if you do pass the threshold and you're like, well, shit, I really don't wanna pay taxes on that, so I don't wanna talk about it. Just remember that down the road, if you do end up get getting audited, it would have been a lot better just to pay those smaller amounts, either quarterly or at the end of the year, than if you just let that build up for a really long time. So that I'm just gonna, I'm gonna put out there, you know, like, please, if you were making money online and you were not being taxed in a way that you can see, keep track of all of that and just be prepared to pay out. All right, so the basis of this story, it all started with a movement and it seems to all go back to this David Wu guy who we will touch on again in the future where he started, you know, just posting that, you know, report your sex workers to the IRS or the local law enforcement, thank you. Um, now, if you actually looked into some of this, this extended past just regular sex workers, and like I mentioned, it kind of included just kind of like cam girls and people with premium Snapchats and stuff like that. But it's almost like he made an entire movement of it. Like this, this picture is disgusting. This is vile. Now I've, I've talked about, you know, like booby streamers and, and stuff like that before and, and my opinion on them. And it's pretty much the same, especially in situations like this. Well, I wouldn't do anything like this and this just isn't my, aim in life and not something that I would personally do. They only exist because of a demand for the service. If there was no demand, they wouldn't do it because they wouldn't make any money doing it. And honestly, most of the people who seem to be complaining about this stuff are exactly the type of people who would be, you know, looking up these kinds of services to the point that it just kind of comes across as a lot of disgruntled people. It's actually very similar to how um, you'll get a lot of like politicians being staunchly against prostitution and legalizing prostitution. Meanwhile, they get caught with prostitutes. Now this whole concept was really picked up by Roosh. The big one that he had was, online thoughts are finding out that all income generated from their breasts and vagina is taxable. Men are aggressively organizing to report all thoughts. I don't blame them. These girls are getting a free ride via beta bucks and a broken sexual marketplace that is rigged in the favor of females. Also bro, you're a pickup artist. What, what do you have to be high and mighty about in this situation? And he says it perfectly himself when he mentions aggressively, when he says they are aggressively organizing. Why are they aggressively organizing? It's like, are you that mad at the, at the neighborhood handyman who's like, you know, fixing stuff in his garage? Are you that mad at the Craigslist seller or the eBay sales dude? In all of these situations, somebody is offering a service that someone is willing to pay for. So if you're not gonna report one of them 
for tax evasion, why would you report the other? Now I say that as knowing that a lot of these women do pay taxes and you can look at them, you can look at their, you know, their Twitter histories and like all around tax season, they're, they're talking about how shitty it is that they have to pay their taxes as is pretty common with a lot of, you know, online content creators or cam girls or anybody who really operates in the e Verse, if you're making money online in a way that is not traditional, so traditional taxes are not being taken from you, but you still have to pay taxes, you will notice that these people are talking about this all around the same time of year because we're all doing it. Yes, obviously there are gonna be women who are trying not to pay taxes, who are trying to avoid paying taxes on this stuff, and if you wanna report them for some reason, that is technically your right to do so, but why do you have to be so vitriolic and hateful about it? Why can't you just be like, hey, helpful tip, if you are doing this kind of work and making money, you need to report that money to the IRS. If you are not reporting that money to the IRS, you could be audited. Why does it have to be in a hateful way? Because again, these women are offering a service because there is a demand for that service. If you don't like the service, that's unfortunate. There's all sorts of things in life that I don't like, and instead of being this kind of asshole, I ignore it or I just rant about it. I don't actually attack people. And while I'm sure there are individual cam girls and people who offer these services who have committed some kind of wrongdoing to other people, that's individual basis. And the IRS even says that reporting people is not to resolve individual disputes. So the fact that you're going after all of these women and all of these different people and specifically women, you know, some people mention live streamers. They mention specifically live streamers. So people that Girls that are playing games that maybe are wearing clothing that's a little bit too revealing for you. You're gonna report people like that, but you're not gonna report the male counterparts that are also Twitch streamers that could just as equally not be paying taxes on their money that they're making through live streaming. This is a specific attack against women and that's problematic. And that's not me trying to say that you always believe women in every situation. Like I'm the kind of person who's gonna call out any of this kind of bullshit. I called out bullshit when people were going at Terry Crews calling him less of a man for being sexually assaulted. I called out the hypocritical attitude towards Asia Argento when it came to Jimmy Bennett. But there's no way to look at this other than targeted harassment. The way that some of these guys are going at certain women is absolutely hateful and that's really gross. One of the things that was mentioned is that a lot of these women uh, who are like the cam girls, the Snapchat people, their information is being sent to uh, sex traffickers. They are, they are actually allegedly putting these people's information on the dark web for sex trafficking. And you know, that includes like their phone number, their home address and all sorts of stuff like that. And while it's probably something that nothing would ever come from and no one would actually, you know, follow through on it, it's still terrifying to know that that is some people's response to this situation. That to not only, you know, report them to the IRS, which, you know, that's totally, that's totally your right to do if you want to, but to harass them in such a way that you are doxing their information, spreading their information in places that they could actually get seriously hurt. Like, why do you hate them so much? What did they physically do to you? What did they actually do to you? What did they personally, as a person, do to you? or is it just kind of some kind of perceived attack from all women against you? Now, one of the main things that people were saying as a benefit to reporting these people is that you could get up to 30%, 30% of whatever was reported. But if you actually look into this, there's some pretty strict rules behind it. Basically, the information has to be extremely significant. Like you'd have to actually have basically all the proof that the IRS would need to like convict the person of tax evasion. And even then it would have to exceed two million dollars in order for you to get 15 to 30 percent or the person's individual income is more than two hundred thousand dollars and even then the irs would have to determine that your information was 100 percent integral to that conviction so don't don't be thinking that you're you're reporting some girl who's making you know like i don't know like ten thousand dollars a year doing this and, and you're making you're making three grand from doing the, the Lord's work. Also, side note, I am also not okay with anybody doxing David either. I'm not okay with anybody sending him personal attacks, him personal threats. If you believe he's done something wrong, report his information. There are multiple channels that you can report people to if you believe that they are committing some kind of crime. Doxing, personal harassment, Placing people's information on the internet is never the response to this kind of thing. All it does is martyr them and give them a soapbox to stand on. Don't sink to their level. Honestly, the whole thing kind of comes across as 
Those girls won't send you their nudes for free? Thoughts to be reported to the IRS. Anyways, that is gonna do it for today's video. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed, please make sure to subscribe and like the video if you're into that kind of thing. As always, I hope you had a fantastic day and we'll catch you all later.